Hi everyone, Chef John Liddell here with Monogram Appliances. Today I'm with our 5-in-1 oven with Advantium Speed Cooking Technology, and I'm gonna bring you one of my easiest recipes, asparagus almondine. So let's go ahead and get this going, and I'll show you the ingredients. Okay, so let's start with our asparagus here. A nice bunch of asparagus, hazelnut oil, olive oil, fresh chopped parsley, lemon juice, and of course, almonds. Give it all a nice toss, and then we're gonna go ahead and place that directly on our speed tray. So now that we have everything mixed up, we're gonna take our flat five-in-one bake tray and just apply the asparagus right down there on the center. I'm gonna take that tray, put it right in the five-in-one oven there, lock it into place, shut the door, then on the home screen, hit precision cooking. The next screen brings up fresh, frozen, custom, crisp reheat. We're gonna use fresh. And then we're gonna to go to vegetables. Simply select roasted, and then asparagus. Next, select the proper portion, nine to 16 ounces, and it'll prompt us to use that metal tray. Once all the settings and everything looks right, go ahead and hit start, and immediately we begin roasting off that asparagus almondine. Well guys, the asparagus almondine is just finishing up. So let's go ahead and open up the five-in-one oven. Wow, that looks perfect. Let's eat. Hello again, Chef John here at the Monogram Design Center in Chicago. I think one of the best things that's going on in restaurants right now is the phenomenon of our burratas, our whipped fettas, all of the cheeses that are really being brought back to life. So I wanted to bring that to your home, but I'm not doing burrata or feta. I'm gonna do ricotta, a baked ricotta. Such a simple recipe that brings so much love into the home. We've got some crustinis that we'll dip in afterwards, but for right now, let's get started and whip up our egg. Gonna add that egg into the ricotta directly. We've got some Asiago, provolone, Parmesan, you name it, whatever your favorite cheese is, add it in there. Then, the fresh herbs and garlic. And my favorite thing to do is keep this dish fresh. So I separate it in between a couple of dishes, or if you're having a larger party, three or four dishes. Now that we have our baked ricotta mixture separated into two seven ounce cups here, we're gonna take them and place them directly into the speed oven. Once we've done that, the next step is to access the custom speed cook button. Go ahead and add 10 minutes of time. Press the selector in and add 10 to the upper element, 10 to the lower element, microwave power at one, and convection power at eight. Hit the selector twice more and begin the cooking process. I think this is one of the most impressive things you can do at home to put on a charcuterie platter, a cheese board, or just make for yourself on a Saturday afternoon. Let's take a look at it. Wow. I like to take one of these, careful, they're very hot. Flip it right upside down. You can see it comes out almost like a souffle. We take that baked ricotta right on top of some herbs there with the fresh crostinis. How great does that look?
Hi everyone, Chef John Liddell here at the Monogram Design Center in Chicago. Happy to be here with our five-in-one speed oven, once again, bringing you an amazing recipe. Today, a recipe that normally takes a couple of hours to make, we're gonna do in a matter of 15 or 20 minutes, and that's Hasselbeck potatoes. So let's go ahead and get started with our ingredients. First thing, got these shingled Hasselbeck potatoes. All you have to do is make fine cuts in them. You don't wanna cut all the way through. You can see how I only peeled the top of the potato, and then using my knife, just sliced all the way down to that end part of the potato there. I'm gonna place those in our glass baking dish. Take a little bit of garlic here. Mix that up in some melted butter. Paint that all the way across the top. Be generous, it's butter, it's okay for us. So the chopped thyme and chives go on there. A little sprinkle of cheese, not too much, we'll save some for when it's finished. Next, go right over to the speed oven, open the door and place that glass baking dish right in the center. Close the door and then select custom speed cook. For this recipe, I've created it on my own. So we're gonna add 15 minutes of time to begin with. The upper element, 10. The lower element, 10. Microwave power, take that to 40% or four. And the convection fan on 10 as well. Hit the selector twice more and begin the cooking process. So excited to show you the results on these Hasselback potatoes. They're gonna be so caramelized, it's gonna look like a professional chef did it every time. I take the credit, but it's really the speed oven. Absolutely perfect. You can see the evenness of browning couldn't be better. To finish this dish, all you need to do, place them right on a plate like this, and I like extra Parmesan, and of course, extra butter. Hi everyone, Chef John at the Monogram Design Center here in Chicago. Today I'm with the Speed Oven once again, and I'd like to show you my best way to roast a chicken. Not only the best way, the quickest way with retaining nutrients, moisture content, and of course the crunchy skin of the chicken. So let's start by stuffing this chicken. I've got my lemon, my orange peels here. I'm gonna take those, stuff them right in the cavity. And again guys, Follow along on the recipe below if you want the full effect of this speed roasted chicken. So we're gonna go ahead and stuff that in there, fill the cavity nicely, and then what I'm gonna use is a pesto oil. Go ahead and make your own pesto, but add a little extra olive oil to it, or buy a store-bought pesto and beef it up with some olive oil as well. Go ahead and just paint that right on, making sure you cover all of the chicken with those nice pine nuts, a little bit of Parmesan, garlic, herbs, all the good stuff. Next, we're gonna take your chicken, place it right inside the speed oven. And using the speed cooking mode, we're gonna access 175 pre-programmed recipes. Remember, with the speed oven, no preheating is necessary. Scroll through those recipes, you're gonna see poultry, many selections for poultry. Of course, we've got whole chicken, three to four pounds, using the selector here, hit it once more. And again, the speed oven uses the technology of halogen to make that oven up to 450 degrees in about four minutes. So we'll watch that happen. All right, our chicken's on its way to cooking. The only adjustment that I'd like to make is to add potatoes and carrots, a little bit of celery to this dish to make a one pan meal. But to do that, I need to cook them properly. So what I'll do is take the time down by half from 28 minutes 
to about 14 minutes. That way, when the speed oven turns off, it'll prompt me to add my potatoes and carrots in there to make them perfectly roasted with the chicken. Let's go ahead and open up the oven door, grab that chicken. Oh my gosh, it's halfway on its way. All I wanna do though is take olive oil, carrots, a little bit of celery in there for some extra flavor, toss that around a bit, and just pour it around that chicken. We're making a one pan meal here, something we used to do on Sundays, but now we can do it in a matter of 25 minutes. Back into the speed oven, lock that tray in, hit the selector. Once it starts, go ahead and add the other 14 minutes back on. Scroll through, you see it count up. There it is, 14 minutes. Chicken's just about finished. The skin is perfectly golden brown, rendered, caramelized, looking delicious. The halogen, the bake element, and as well as the convection fan have all done their job perfectly in under 28 minutes. So let's take a look at dinner. Oh my gosh, wow. The speed oven did its job, and we have another perfectly quick-cooked meal.